You're both in. I just might move it closer because the closer it is, the better the sound no, okay. is. That's all. Yep. Now we're in now. <laughs> your, your, you can zoom this way and that uh -huh. way at the top. Great. No, hang on, you're not in. I'm not in. I'm coming in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, done. Red light? Yeah, red light, red light. Okay, thing. thank you. Now, where you want to do the room technique. So, do you have a particular incident in mind that you want to clear? A memory? Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, I want you to just think of a title that you can call it. Feeling crap, that's a good one. All right. So when you think of that feeling crap title, what is it out of 10 when you just think of the title of it? Eight. Eight? Okay. So that's just where we start. And when you feel that eight out of 10, where do you feel that in your body? Um, through the series, through the... Through your, your, what do we call that? Through your eyes. Eyes and sinuses. Eyes and sinuses, okay. So even though, even though I've got this feeling crap movie. I've got this feeling crap movie. And I feel it through my eyes and sinuses. And I feel it through my eyes and sinuses. I accept myself. I accept myself. And my body. And my body. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Even though I've got this feeling crap movie. Even though I've got this feeling crap movie. And I feel it through my eyes and sinuses. And I feel it through my eyes and sinuses. I accept myself. Accept myself and my body and my body deeply and completely, deeply and completely. Even though I've still got this feeling crack movie, even though I've still got this feeling crack movie, and I feel it through my eyes and sinuses, and I feel it through my eyes and sinuses. I accept myself and my body, I accept myself and my body deeply and completely, deeply and completely. Feeling crap, feeling crap. I feel it through my eyes and sinuses, I feel it through my eyes and sinuses. It's eight out of ten, it's eight out of ten. Feeling crap. Feeling crap. I feel it through my eyes and sinuses. I feel it through my eyes and sinuses. This movie. This movie. Feeling crap. Feeling crap. Through my eyes and sinuses. Through my eyes and sinuses. It's eight out of ten. It's eight out of ten. This feeling crap movie. This feeling crap movie. That I feel in my sinuses. I feel in my sinuses. And my eyes. And my eyes. I want to process and release it. I want to process and release it. So take a deep breath. Did you grab your water? Mm -hmm. Here's your water. So, that feeling crap through your eyes and sinuses that are, that's relating to this movie, mm -hmm. so it's a specific time and space and place, yeah. um, and it's a, a few minutes long, this movie, or is it a bit longer? Uh, it ran over about a week. Oh, okay. So it's not a specific sort of crescendo memory? There is a... Piece towards the end, okay. right at the end where uh, mm -hmm. it comes to a crescendo. Okay, and so that's it. So that's the part that we want to look at, that part at the end. So, um, when you think of that, that part, which is the feeling crap part, mm -hmm. where the crescendo is, and you're feeling it across here, is it still at 8 out of 10? I want you to think about that feeling crap movie, yep. that crescendo part that mm -hmm. was at, towards the end of the, the week. Mm -hmm. That's the part that we're looking at as the movie. Yeah. So it's dropped to what? It's dropped to a six. A six? Mm -hmm. And is it still, where is it in your body, that feeling oh, crap? Still same place. Same place. Even though? Uh, actually, <laughs> yeah. Because. Um, Celia and I worked on this yesterday, mm -hmm. and it was interesting that it then dropped, and when you said that, it, it took me back there, it drops into this area here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So when you think about that 6 out of 10 feeling crap now, yeah. it's down in your chest more than across here? Yeah, well, or I mean, this is still obvious, but it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's in okay. here. Okay. 
So even though, even though I've still got this feeling crap moving. I've still got this feeling crap moving. And it's in my eyes, sinuses and chest. And it's in my eyes, sinuses and chest. I accept myself. I accept myself. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Even though I've still got this sinus, eye, chest feeling crap moving. Even though I've got this sinus, eye, throat and chest feeling. <laughs> feeling crap moving. Feeling crap moving. I accept myself. I accept myself. And my body. And my body. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Even though I've still got. Even though I've still got. The 6 out of 10. The 6 out of 10. Feeling in my eyes, sinus, throat and chest. In the, still got this feeling in my eyes, sinus, so throat, throat and chest. chest. From this feeling crap moving. From this feeling crap moving. I accept myself. I accept myself. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Feeling crap. Feeling crap. Feeling it in my eyes, sinus, throat and chest. Feeling it in my eyes, sinus, throat and chest. This feeling crap title. This feeling crap title. It happened at the end of the week. It, it happened at the end of that week. Mm -hmm. This feeling crap title. This feeling crap title. Feeling it in my eyes, sinus, throat and chest. Feeling it in my eyes, sinus, throat and chest. This 6 out of 10 feeling in my body. This 6 out of 10 feeling in my body. When I think about that movie title when I think about that movie title at the end of the week at the end of the week feeling crap feeling crap processing and releasing that title feeling and processing that title that title feeling crap feeling crap we'll take a deep breath again so when you think about the title again now feeling crap has that shifted has that come down you thinking about that part of the end of the week? It's come down, but it's it's moved to feeling um, pissed off. Mm -hmm. So rather than um, rather than being wrong, um, yeah, I'm just I'm just a bit pissed off actually. Uh huh. Well. Wow. I don't know if we're allowed to let him change the title of the movie, <laughs> but, yeah. but we might Could consider you. it. <laughs> All right, let's let's um, go. Even though, even though I've got this feeling crap moving, I've got this feeling crap moving, and I'm feeling pissed off now. And I'm feeling pissed off now. Where do you feel that? Something's got up my nose. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. And I'm feeling pissed nose. off. And I'm feeling pissed, pissed off. off. And it's like some something's got up my nose. It's like something's got up my nose. I accept myself. I accept myself. And all my body's reactions. And all my body's reactions. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Even though I've got this feeling crap moving. Even though I've got, got this feeling crap moving. That happened at the, at the end of that week. That happened at the end of that week. And I feel pissed off in my sinuses. And I feel pissed off in my sinuses. Something's got up my nose. Something's got up my nose. I accept myself. I accept myself. And my body. And my body. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Even though I've still got that feeling crap moving. Even though I've still got that feeling crap moving. And I've got that pissed off feeling up my nose. I have that pissed off feeling up my nose. In my sinuses. In my sinuses. I accept myself and my body. I accept myself and my body. My body's talking to me. My body's talking to me. And I'm listening. I accept myself deeply and completely. And I accept myself deeply and completely. Mm -hmm. That pissed off feeling up my nose. That pissed off feeling up my nose. From that feeling crap title. From that feeling crap title. That feeling crap movie. That feeling crap movie. That happened at the end of the week. That happened at the end of the week. I feel pissed off up, up my nose. I feel <laughs> pissed off up my nose. <laughs> In my sinuses. In my sinuses. That pissed off feeling. That pissed off feeling. Something's up my nose. Something's getting up my nose. Mm -hmm. And I feel pissed off. And I feel pissed off. When I tune into that oh. feeling crap movie. When I, feel, when I tune into that feeling crap movie. Releasing that pissed off feeling. Releasing that pissed off feeling. From up my nose. From up my nose. Someone's getting up my nose. Someone's getting up my nose. And I'm getting them out. And I'm getting them out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so take a deep breath. 
It's interesting the metaphors that you have with your body, like who's getting up your nose. Mm -hmm. So when you tune into that feeling crap title, what's there for you now? So just do the title when you think of that title of that end of the week incident. What's there now? about someone getting up the nose. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to clear just on the title. You've got to keep going. <laughs> so it comes down. You see, the cognitive shift... <coughs> the cognitive shift is there's amusement for it now rather than pissed off, yeah? <laughs> so, would you say that the title's come down? Yeah. Okay, so now yeah. we go to the actual incident. Okay. All right. That's quite funny now, huh? Well, it's just taken That's on a different tone. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Put me back in charge. Uh huh. Good. So what we want to do is start at a neutral place, okay. right, just before that incident rose. So where are you? Where are you just before you know it went up? Uh, at the end of the week, where that highlight of the incident occurred. Um, I'm just at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where? In what? bed. I'm home in bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife's here, this is okay. Do we need this to be R rated? <laughs> so, so here you are in bed. And what happened next? You'll be the next one we're tapping on, please. <laughs> uh, I was basically told to uh, get up and get the shit together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, I had enough. Mm -hmm. um, uh, loving, caring, teaching, and my mother needed me to just move on. Uh huh. Okay. So how old were you? About six. Okay. So that's good. We weren't talking about your wife then. <laughs> you're saying <safe, laughs> All right. So you're six years old, mm -hmm. and you can remember your mum saying, "Get up." Yeah. Is what were her exact words? Um, well, actually, the incident was over forcing me to eat honey on toast, ah. and it tasted foul. Mm -hmm. She said, this will be good for you, and I just about gagged, Okay. and she just told me to go toughen up, and she just about rammed it down the throat, mm -hmm. and it was just disgusting. Mm -hmm. So when you break that to the very first part, she said to you, it have, the this, taste. Honey, have yeah. this honey on toast, it's yeah. good for you. Yeah. And you put it in your mouth and it yeah. tasted foul. That was the taste. Okay. So even though, even though I remember the foul taste. I remember the foul taste. Of this honey on toast. Of this honey on toast. That mum was shoving in my mouth. Yeah, my mother forced in my mouth. Forced in my mouth. I accept myself. I accept myself. And all my reactions. And all my reactions. And I let my body know. And I let my body know. It's time to process and release this. It's time to even though I remember, even though I remember, Mum forcing this honey on toast, Mum forcing this honey on toast into my mouth, into my mouth. I was only six. I was only six. And it tasted foul. And it tasted foul. I accept myself. I accept myself. And my pissed off feeling. And my pissed off feeling. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Mum was forcing this honey on toast. Mum was forcing this honey on toast into my mouth. Into my mouth. It was foul. It was foul. She said it was good for me. She said it'd be good for me. It was foul. It was foul. And she was forcing it into my mouth. And she was forcing it into my mouth. And I can still remember how foul it tasted. And I can still remember how foul it tasted. And she said it would be good for me. And she said it'd be good for me. And it tasted foul. It tasted foul. She was forcing it in my mouth. She was forcing it in my mouth. I was really pissed off. I was only six. I was only six. She was supposed to be looking after me. She was supposed to be looking after me. She said it would be good for me. She said it would be good for me. And it tasted foul. And it tasted foul. It really tasted foul. It was foul and disgusting. Foul and disgusting. Honey on toast. Honey on toast. Foul and disgusting. She, honey on toast. she said it would taste good. She said it would taste good. She said it would be good for me. She said it would be good for me. I can't trust anyone. I can't trust anyone. I can't trust my mum. I can't trust my mum. Especially when I'm sick. Especially when I'm sick. 
She said it would be good for me. She said it would be good for me. It tasted foul. It tasted foul. I was only six. I was only six. It tasted foul. It tasted foul. Okay, so take a deep breath. Thanks for tapping over there. Keep tapping when you get triggered. Keep tapping. So, um, when you are thinking about that, like I threw in a, a few like of my own little intuitions then because as a six-year-old when, um, you know, you trust your mum and she says that this is going to be good for you um, and then suddenly it hits you and it's foul and every part of your body saying this isn't good for me, it tastes foul. There's that instinctive belief that comes up that I, I can't even trust my own mum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. So, even though I was putting that in, that was my instinctive um, intuition yeah. of um, a, imagining a six-year-old who trusts his mum and his mum saying this is good for you and your body straight away saying this is foul. Yeah. Okay, so when you think about that part now um, of your mum putting that honey on toast in your mouth saying this is good for you and your instant body's reaction saying it's foul and that pissed off feeling. Has that come down? Big time. Yeah. Maybe a two. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Is there any other aspect of that part of when she was saying this is good for you, this honey on toast, and forcing it in your mouth, and then you tasting that it's foul? Did you say something to it? I I, I just said you know it tastes foul. Mm -hmm. What was her reaction to that? Um, ridicule. Ridicule. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this is still part of that same aspect. So where do you feel that ridicule when she was shoving that honey on toast in your mouth, saying it's good for you, and you're saying it tastes foul? How did she ridicule, ridicule you? How was that process? How, was it the look on her face? There's something she said? What was it? Uh, it was the words. Mm -hmm. What were the words? You know, don't be so stupid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so let's go with that. Even though, even though I was only six, I was only six. I could taste that foul honey. I could taste that foul honey on toast. On toast. And I told mum it tasted foul. And I told mum it tasted foul. And she ridiculed me. And she ridiculed me. And said, "Don't be so stupid." Don't be so stupid. And I can still feel that in my body. I can still feel that in my body. I, I can wanna... feel that. I can feel that in my ears. Mm, I can feel that in my ears. The yeah. sound of her voice. The sound of her voice. Saying, don't be so stupid. Don't be so stupid. I accept myself. I accept myself. And all my responses. And all my responses. And reactions. And reactions. To mum's harsh voice. To mum's harsh voice. Saying, don't be so stupid. Don't be so stupid. I was only six. I accept myself deeply and completely. I accept myself deeply and completely. Even though I was only six. Even though I was only six. And mum was forcing this honey on toast down my throat. And mum was forcing this honey on toast down my throat. She said it'd be good for me. She said it'd be good for me. She thought it would be. She thought it would be. But it tasted foul. But it tasted foul. And I told her it did. And I told her it did. And she said, don't be so stupid. And she said, don't be so stupid. And I can feel that in my ears. I accept myself and all my body's responses. I accept myself, myself and all my, my body's body. responses. responses. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Mum said, don't be so stupid. Mum said, don't be so stupid. The honey on toast tasted foul. The honey on toast tasted foul. She thought she was giving me something that was good for me. She thought she was giving me something that would be good for me. But it tasted foul. But it tasted foul. How can something that tastes foul be good for me? How could something that tastes foul be good for me? I told her it tasted foul. I told her it tasted foul. And she said, don't be so stupid. She said, don't be so stupid. I was only six. I was only six. I can still hear it in my ears. I can still hear it in my ears. I can still feel, feel her ridicule in my ears. I can still feel her ridicule in my ears. And I'm thanking my ears for holding on to it. And I'm thanking my ears for holding on to it. But it's time to process it and release it. But it's time to process it. And let it go. And let it go. Mum thought she was doing the right thing. Mum thought she was doing the right thing. Releasing the ridicule from my ears. Releasing the ridicule from my ears. 
Yes. When mum said, don't be so stupid. When mum said, don't be so stupid. Okay, so take a deep breath, have some water. How's everyone going? All right. So, if we go back to the beginning and we've got, what's the movie title? Feeling crap. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. So you're in bed, yeah. six years old, and then mum's coming with the honey on toast and said, this will be good for you. Yeah. And she's forced it down your throat and you've tasted it and taste foul. And you said, it tastes foul. And she said, don't be so stupid. How's that landing on you now? I feel quite sort of neutral around it. It's, it's, um, she's got her stuff and I've got mine and I can just sort of, mm. I can not argue, I can just... Mm -hmm. So it's not landing on you, it's not in your no. ears, it's not in your throat, it's not anger pissed off up your nose. No. Mm -hmm. And what happened after that? She say, what did she say after that? Don't be so stupid. Just tune into it again. Um, um, well, I gagged. Mm -hmm. um, and just, we just kept the process going. It mm -hmm. was just. said don't be such a wuss. Even though mum said don't be such a wuss. And I gagged and she kept forcing it down my throat. And I gagged and she kept forcing it down my throat. And I can still taste that foul honey. And I can still taste that foul honey. She thought she was doing the right thing. She thought she was doing the right thing. She said it would be good for me. She said it would be good for me. I accept myself. I accept myself. And my responses to her behaviour. And my responses to her behaviour. It just kept going. It just kept going. Her stuff and my stuff. Her stuff and my stuff. I accept myself deeply and completely. I accept myself deeply and completely. Mum kept forcing the honey and toast down my throat. Mum kept forcing the honey and toast down my throat. She said it would be good for me. She said it would be good for me. She thought it would be good for me. She thought it would be good for me. She was doing what she thought was best. She, she was doing what she thought was best. And I was gagging on it. And I was gagging on it. It tasted foul. It tasted foul. And it kept going. And it kept going. And I released my responses from my ears. I released my responses from my ears. When she said, don't be so stupid. When she said, don't be so stupid. She thought she was doing the right thing. She thought she was doing the right thing. She had my best interests in mind. She had my best interests in mind. Even though she didn't listen to me. Even though she didn't listen to me. She didn't hear me when I said it tasted foul. She didn't hear me when I said it tasted foul. I accept myself and her responses. I accept myself and her responses. So how does that feel now, when you think about the whole thing? So there's this movie, Feeling Crack, you're in bed, Mum comes in with the honey on toast and says this will be good for you, and she's forcing it down your throat, because that tastes foul. She said, don't be so <coughs> stupid, and it keeps going on. Basically, she wasn't looking at uh, what was in my best interest, she was just wanting to get shot of it. So mm -hmm. she, was, she was wanting to sort it for herself. Mm -hmm. She really wasn't that interested in me. Mm -hmm. It was just a bloody nuisance. Mm -hmm. So how does that feel for you? Is it, Pretty is, crap. So, is that, yeah, so that's the feeling crap. So there's that feeling of feeling crap. And so the belief that you took on as a six-year-old is what? She's not interested in what I've got to say or she's not? Yeah, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. Or, yeah, I'm not. I'm just a nuisance. I'm just a nuisance. Okay, so that's the belief. So even though... Even though... As a six-year-old... As a six-year-old... I took on the belief that I'm just a nuisance. I took on the belief that I'm just a nuisance. I accept myself. I accept myself. And all my reactions... And all my reactions... To mum's behaviour. To mum's behaviour. And my resulting belief... And my resulting belief. And I'm ready and prepared to let that go. And I'm ready and prepared to let that go. Even though I was only six... I was only six. And I felt like I was just a nuisance. And I felt like I was just a nuisance. When mum said, don't be stupid. When mum said, don't be stupid. And she was forcing honey on toast down my throat. And she was forcing honey on toast down my throat. 
And I felt like I was just a nuisance. I felt like I was just a nuisance. I accept myself. I accept myself. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Mum was doing the best she could. Mum was doing the best she could. She was trying to make me well. She was trying to make me well. She said the honey on toast would be good for me. She said the honey on toast would be good for me. She didn't hear me when I said it was foul. She didn't hear me when I said it was foul. I felt like I was just a nuisance. I felt like I was just a nuisance. I felt her frustration. I felt her frustration. And I want to release it from my body. And I want to release it from my body. She was doing the best she could. She was doing the best she could. And I took on that feeling that I was just a nuisance. And I took on that feeling that I was just a nuisance. And that belief that I was just a nuisance. And that belief that I was just a nuisance. But maybe I can be open to letting it go now. But maybe I can be open to letting it go now. I wonder what that would feel like. I wonder what that would feel like. I wonder what it would feel like to let go of that belief that I'm just a nuisance. I wonder what it would feel like. see other parts in your life where you've taken on that belief into adulthood, I'm just a nuisance, mm. and how great it is to be able to let that go as well, mm. in all walks of life now, yeah. Absolutely. and then when you let that go, what's a different belief that you could take on? Maybe even like, I oh, was so important that mum was really trying to get that honey on toast into me, because she thought it would make me better. thing that, that occurs to me is um, is that I know what's what's best for me as well so, so mm -hmm. that is there but 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 I do know and so I can just quietly find mm -hmm. my own way through it yep. so it's not about being a nuisance I have an opinion yes and I know what's best for me mm -hmm. and I can just be quiet I can just I can just work with that mm -hmm. good yeah so that's even though mum thought she knew what was best for me so the the new belief is that I really know what's best for me and I can really be true to that now as a six-year-old you couldn't really be true to that because mum was forcing what she thought was best for you on her but as an adult you can really tune into I know what's best for me now yeah without having that pissed off feeling or letting stuff get up my nose yeah <laughs> cool like honey yeah <laughs> So how's that feel now in your whole body when you think about that? When you think of that feeling crap movie? Just in the big part of that? Just... Hey, it's just neutral. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Thank you. So that was a, a really good demonstration. So you don't have to do the movie technique on trauma, you know, big trauma stuff. But when you look at six-year-old stuff, that has um, a belief that uh, creates a belief that I'm just a nuisance. Um, yeah, to be able to clear that and shift that and take the trauma out of it, because as an adult you mightn't think that that's a big trauma, but as a six-year-old that is a big trauma. Yeah. So that's what we call little T traumas that have a big effect on you still throughout your life because you're still in that subconscious. Um, memory state when you're a six-year-old so everything that comes into you is taken as truth mm -hmm. so you don't have to carry that on a nuisance anymore and what you've got as a different belief is I do know what's best for me yeah. thank you cool. thank you and thank you everyone else for those who got triggered and got tapped on and cleared some stuff thank you all right well